Hi everyone, I'm Beth and welcome to day 22 of the fitness challenge. You made it. Today we are going to do one final exercise. It is our sideline leg, which we had done earlier, but this time it's going to be focused on our inner thighs. Okay, so we will do that. I hope you've enjoyed the last 22 days. Hopefully you feel a little bit stronger, maybe even um, if you hadn't tried Pilates before, a little less intimidated by Pilates and maybe a greater understanding of what it is. Basically a Pilates mat class is taking all of these exercises that we've done the last 22 days, putting them together in a flow. And um, that is basically a Pilates mat class. So if you're ever interested in any of those classes, please take a look at my website at www.bodiesbypilates.net. Take a look at the schedule and see the different class options that are there. So let's get right into it. We're gonna come down onto our mat for our side lying leg series. Now, as mentioned before, you can do side lying um, in many of the Pilates classes with props, a ball, um, weight, whatever. But today we're just gonna do it without those. I don't think it's necessary. So come on down, find um, your parallel position here on the mat and then pull up those bottom obliques. So don't just rest into the mat, but feel yourself really pull up, engage those abs, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is to take our legs long. I have them slightly in front of me so that I don't fall over. And then I'm gonna take that top leg, I'm gonna take it up. I'm gonna press the energy through the heel of my foot. I'm gonna flex my bottom foot and I'm gonna to start to lift it to my top foot and then lower to hover, lift and lower. I'm using my top arm as my kickstand so I don't fall over. My abs are engaged. My bottom obliques are trying to come off the mat and my top shoulder is relaxed even though my hand is here acting as that kickstand. I'm trying to bring that low leg or that bottom leg up to my top leg each time. Good, let's do five more. We've got five. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it there for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now holding it there, separate those legs. They're hovering over your mat. And then switch, and switch, and switch. Good. Keep going. You've got it. Use that breath, keep those abs engaged, relax that top shoulder. We've got four, three, two, and one. From here, I want you to go ahead and lift those legs and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Three, two, and one, switch them in space. And again, for six, five, four, three, two, the last one, bring them together and lower them down. Whew. Let's go ahead, take ourselves up and over to the other side so that we can even ourselves out. Fly all the way down here. Remember, pull up from those bottom obliques, pull that belly in, take that top hand as a kickstand. My legs are slightly in front of me. And then we're gonna take that top uh, leg and with that energy, really push through that heel. Here we go, we're gonna flex the bottom leg, lift, lower to hover, lift, lower, lift, lower, good. Keep those abs pulling in and we're relaxing that top shoulder. Use that breath so don't hold it. Keep those feet flexed. Five more, five, four, three, two. Hold it here for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now separate those legs. Good. And switch. And switch. Switch. Good. 
Just passing in space here. Three more. Three, two. Last one, hold that top leg front. Now lift and lower. Hovering, so we never actually touch the mat. We've got three more. Three, two, and one. Hold it here, switch it in space. We lift and lower and lift and lower. Good. Using that inner thigh to lift that leg each time. Three more. Two. And last one. Go ahead, bring those legs together and lower them down. There's a couple other options that you can do. Actually, there's lots of different varieties, but you can always take that top leg over the bottom leg as well. Or if it feels good, you can bring it up like this. Sometimes that doesn't feel good for everyone. So you can bring that knee down and you can use your inner thigh this way. Sometimes people feel pressure in the back of their knee when they're doing their inner thigh work. So feel free to put a little bend in that leg if you need to, to really connect with that inner thigh. So that's our inner thigh sideline series. There's lots of different options we can do but hopefully you'll start feeling it in those inner thighs pretty quickly. And again, congratulations on getting through 22 days of this fitness challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. It'll be on the YouTube channel pretty much forever. So you can always refer back to it if you want or check out the other videos that are available to you. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget to shoot me a message to let me know that you made it through all 22 days. Have a great day.